currently 1 23 a.m flat iron my hair so i wanted to show you guys like what my hair is looking like right now so i just washed it there's nothing in it right now i put on a shirt that like you guys will be able to see the length of my hair and then i'm gonna wear this shirt again so then you can see like <laughs> i was trying to see what's on the shirt so hopefully this all fits in the frame so i don't know if you can see Okay, let me pause it and see what y'all can see. That last clip, it looks like you guys can get a pretty good look of like what my hair is looking like. So this is where it comes down to. About here. Some Olaplex bonding oil. And then I'm going to put in this Chi Silk Infusion stuff. Um in my hair so then when I get ready to blow dry it I'm not gonna blow dry it like right now I'm gonna blow dry it a little bit later then that stuff will already be in it and then I'm gonna go in with this iron chi iron guard and then I'm gonna put this in a little bit later but for right now I'm just gonna prep my hair prep my hair brush it out with this brush put stuff in it and heat protectant and I don't have to do that later I just don't want it getting all tangled up and then I have to do all that stuff because the back of my hair yeah so this is what's looking like right now i'm gonna go put the stuff in it put in a couple of ways and then come back Fusion stuff makes my hair literally so soft like um but yeah I'm gonna go start blow drying it and then when I'm done I'm gonna come back I'll bring you guys with me though so I can show you what blow dryer I'm using and then yeah doing right now is the unboxing of the flat iron that I'm going to be using. I've already blown my hair out. My hair is just like, it's always frizzy. It's always something going on. This is the flat iron that I'm going to be using. The Babyblis Nano Titanium Babai Bliss Pro. And this is the ultra thin flat iron. One inch is the one that I have and it goes up to 450 degrees so i'm just gonna open it because i'm super excited let's take it out the box because here's the instructions 
And then this is a nice cord. It feels very sturdy, heavy duty. This is what it looks like. Okay, this looks pretty, um, it looks like there's no gap. People say that there's a gap when it closes, but I don't see a gap in mine. So I'm just kind of giving a review like the best way I can. First impressions, it's looking pretty good. I want to plug it in though like immediately so it can get hot because I don't want to be sitting here all day. Also comes with a very long cord. Like this cord is so long. Um, so this is what the buttons look like. This is the on switch and then it turns red. So right now it's on one. 50 is as high as it goes and it goes up to 450. I'm going to put it on 35 because I don't want to go all the way up to 50. It's on and it's already heating up. It's only been on for like 30 seconds maybe. Also got this flat iron with it. So this is the new one that they came out with. This is the same thing but this is the one double sided so it has um I'll show you guys hold on. The double sided, um, whatever. But this is that. It's just a smaller version. So I'm gonna flat iron my hair with this one first. And then this is good for curls. So maybe I'll come back and do a review on this one as well. If you guys do want a review on this one, like solely straightening my hair though, I'll do that too. But for right now, this is what I'm reviewing. Really, what I do is I'll use one of these, um, hard bristle brushes to chase my hair with the flat iron because I don't know it just seems to work better for me I don't really like the whole fine tooth comb method I've tried it before and it just doesn't get my like my ends as flat as I want it to be I don't know if this is heated up yet because it wasn't blinking or anything so let me push it again oh so that's off and that's on and I have it on 35 so I don't know, I don't think it's all the way hot yet. And this might just be like a sped up video because I wanna listen to like music. Yeah, I'm not gonna be talking throughout the whole thing. Like I'll pause, come in and out and say stuff if I need to. But other than that, I'm really just gonna be flat ironing. So yeah. So on the instructions, it says it's for professional use only. I'm not a professional, but I know what I'm doing. Honestly, I might go get a fine tooth comb just to comb it out, but when I'm chasing it, I'm going to be using this brush. So, hold on. so I have it on the setting 35 right now. the setting 35 okay let's do this other side now so I get, ooh, this is not to be trying to comb through nothing I use this comb first to comb it through then I'm gonna use this chase my hair all the way down that's pretty good for one pass
Okay, I think I'm done. Um, okay, so I'm back to where I was when I first started and my hair was looking a little frizzy nizzy. For the most part, I only did one pass. Like, this flat iron really surprised me. Like, I haven't looked in a different mirror yet, but this is looking pretty good to me. Let me see the back. I don't know if y'all can see. You should be able to see because I did this angle before and you could. I wasn't expecting this. Let me go look at another mirror. Oh, wow. Okay. Bye bye, Bliss. Let me see. I mean, okay. Now, I don't know how long that took me to flat iron, but it's giving silk press. Oh, my battery's gonna die. So this is how the back is looking. I don't know if you can see or not. Yeah. I think this flying was worth the money. I think it was worth it because, I don't know. I mean, obviously, because this is only day one, I'm gonna obviously wrap it tonight, but I'm about to cut my ends a little bit. And then we're gonna go from there. But yeah, this looks good all i have for this review you guys um it could have been the products that i used too because i did use the um it doesn't matter y'all saw what i used you know it's that flat iron so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my review i hope that um if you were looking to purchase this flat iron that it helped give you some clarity i honestly didn't expect results like this like because I used to flat iron my hair all the time. Like in middle school, I had a phase. Like I only used to wear my hair straight. And then like freshman year, I started wearing my hair naturally curly. And then I was like, uh-uh, ain't no flat iron at all. Flat iron my hair last December. It was like November, December, October, something like that. But yep, this is what I got going on. 12 o'clock midnight. I just wanted to update you guys. I'm about to put you in a perfume bottle. So hopefully this stays. So after... I flat ironed my hair, I went out and stuff, and I came back and I just like, I wasn't liking how it was looking. So when I did my hair the first time, I put it on 35, I believe, and I came back and I turned it all the way up to the 450 and I just, I went over like sections, like I didn't straighten every little part again, but I went over in sections and this is so much better. Like I rate this flat iron a 10 out of 10. Look at my hair, like. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on what I did do because I did go back and I flat ironed it again. I just didn't want to put so much heat on my hair, but at that point, it's already heat on it. So. You smart. So yeah. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like. Comment down below if you want to see a video of me flat ironing my hair with this one because I will do my whole head with this one too. Just let me know what y'all want to see. Um, thank you so much for watching.